Hey everyone, and welcome to my first ever episode on a YouTube cooking channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you guys from my latest favorite cookbook, Sweet Enough by Alison Roman. This book has been my gateway to baking. I've always loved to cook, but never was that into baking, uh, mostly because, you know, the there's kind of a misconception that there's a lot of precision involved and it requires planning and it requires patience. But I feel like this book really hits kind of like a sweet spot. And it's really kind of been a game changer for me because all the recipes are like super easy and her style is like simple, but effective. And I think the recipe that I'm gonna share with you today is definitely simple. It might be my favorite one in here, if I'm being totally honest. The recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you today from here is a blueberry cornmeal shortbread tart. So it's July here in Chicago. Blueberries are in season, so that's one reason I decided to make this. And two is just because it's like so easy, like so easy. And you know, I see a lot of like viral recipes online and I'm kind of like, why did that go viral? And I've tried some of them and I'm like, yeah, those are good. But when I tried this one, I was like, okay, this is a recipe that should be viral. Anyway, I'm kind of like going on here, but the only thing that you'll need for this is a tart pan. This one is a nine inch tart pan and it's super cool how it kind of just comes apart like this. It also costs like 10 bucks on Amazon. So I'll leave a link to it below. So here's a tip for this recipe to be successful. I, this isn't required, but no, you know what? I'm gonna say it's required because if you're doing any baking at all, then you need a thermometer, an oven thermometer specifically. The reality is just that ovens are crazy. They are not ever the temperature that they say they are. And the other thing is that they take a lot longer than you think to preheat. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna cover is the dry ingredients that you need for the crust and the topping. Also, I'm gonna put the measurements in the description for you because I don't feel like trying to remember to do all that while I'm telling you about these ingredients. So the first thing we have is all-purpose flour. We've got some medium grind cornmeal, light brown sugar. Uh, we have a little bit of baking powder for leavening. Then we also have some powdered sugar. Uh, and then we also have some melted butter. So those are, well, you're also gonna need a little bit of salt. Um, so every dessert needs salt to taste good. All right, now, so for the filling ingredients, uh, we've got the star of the show, the blueberries. Uh, they're in season currently, so they taste super good. You can eat them on their own, but they taste even better in this tart. Uh, we've also got some more light brown sugar, some apple cider vinegar, and then we've also got two tablespoons of all-purpose flour here that's going to help thicken the mixture, and then um, some additional salt. All right, so moving on to the actual cooking, or baking in this case, I guess. Uh, I've got the oven preheated to, this needs to be at 350. So I've got it preheating to 350. The first thing that we're going to do is whisk our dry ingredients together. So let me get a whisk here. Now, our dry ingredients for this, for the topping and the crust. One teaspoon of salt going in. Also got a teaspoon of the baking powder. Now also the cornmeal, brown sugar, powdered sugar, and we are going to whisk those together. All right, so that's done. Now we are going to add this melted butter until a little bit of like a coarse dough comes together. All right, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna go wash my hands. That tastes like cookie dough. 
I can literally eat that on its own. What's next? Ah, almost skipped a step here. All right, so next step here is we are going to add three fourths of this mixture to our tar pan. I've measured this in the past using the scale, but honestly, I just don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm gonna eyeball it. The beauty of a lot of these recipes is that you don't have to be super precise about things, which is one of the things that kind of drives me nuts about baking. So I'm going to put roughly three fourths. I think that looks like three fourths. Then I will just begin by pressing it in with my hands. And actually you can use a measuring cup for this to get it sort of evenly pressed in. All right, so we've got the cornmeal mixture pretty much evenly distributed in there. I'm probably just being obsessive about this because I feel like it's not, I feel like it's a little heavier on one side than the other, but eh, who cares? All right, next we gotta make the filling. So we have got the blueberries here and this is gonna be super easy. All we gotta do, I don't want that whisk right now. I need a spatula. As I was saying, all we gotta do is mix this, uh, mix this together. So. We have the apple cider vinegar, the brown sugar. I forgot something. This is supposed to go in the refrigerator while you prepare the filling. And why? I'm not really sure. So next, I'm uh, gonna add the light brown sugar to the blueberries here. And then the flour. And then the apple cider vinegar, and I almost forgot, we also need a pinch of salt. So I'm just gonna use this little thing right here. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, so my camera, my close-up camera overheated and shut off, and I'm not really sure when that happened. So the last thing I was doing was uh, mixing these mixing all of the filling ingredients here and yeah so i've got that all mixed here i've got the oven preheated everything's gonna move pretty quick here and at least i hope so because i also noticed that this has a 25 percent battery and it's draining pretty quickly so i don't know if um you know it's gonna die but i guess these things are gonna happen it's my first video And the rest of this is going to be super easy. So next thing we need to do is just pour these, the filling mixture into the tart. Looks good. Just going to evenly spread this out here. You might see like little gaps in here, but this is going to create a filling. Basically the juices are going to come out. It's going to mix with that flour and the sugar and it's gonna thicken. So the last step for this is to put this crumble topping on top. So just going to scatter it on here. All right, so how long is this gonna go in for? 50 to 55 minutes. I will see you, actually, let me put this in the oven. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, tart pans, because they're not completely sealed, you know, since this comes out, uh, you might wanna put this on something. So I am going to do that. And I hope this is the right size because I don't want something too big because it I think it will block the heat. So there we go. I'm just gonna check the temperature and this oven is being crazy. So actually I might be crazy. I put this at 325 and I meant to do it at 375 since the 
since my oven runs low uh, and this should actually be at 350. So I'm gonna move that up, throw this in, and then I'll see you in a little bit to show you the final dish. All right, guys, so we are back. This took 50 minutes. Uh, you know that this is done once it has a little bit, you know, of a golden brown crust on top. You really wanna keep going until it's uh, like pretty much like dark golden brown. And the next thing you're going to wanna do is remove the sides of the tart pan. Also, I didn't take the shortbread crust kind of up the sides. So I think uh, because I was distracted trying to make this video, I think we might see that some of the blueberry filling is gonna spill out over the sides, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. So I'm gonna get this on a plate here. Now, I don't know if you can see this, uh, but if I wanted to, I could have taken that shortbread crust up to more up the sides. So like here, you can kind of see, um, but it doesn't matter. It's still gonna taste great. It still looks great. And now we're going to dig in and give it a try. All right, guys, this is ready. I am super hungry. I haven't eaten since like five hours ago, cause this took me a lot longer than I thought. And I'm super hungry and I'm actually getting ready to go out to dinner. So I'm gonna try not to eat this whole thing now, but yeah, here we go. Also, if anyone wants to send me like a pie dishing utensil in the mail, I will totally not object because I'm way overdue. First one's always, always the messiest. All right, so here we are, finally, five hours later, super hungry. Can't wait to try this. I've had it before, so I know it's gonna be good. It's so, per like it's just perfect. Like it's like the perfect, snack like or dessert if i weren't going to dinner in an hour i would probably eat half of this right now and just make that my dinner mm, wow this allison roman she she knows her stuff okay so until i figure out another way to end this i'm just going to take another bite of this 